You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. It's a waterfall. It looks pretty. Maybe in our world, a happy little bush lives there. Just sitting there between light and dark shades of blue. A waterfall. I feel like a lot of these are waterfall based. Lots of creams and powders, also hair gel, a sponge thingy, some kind of paste and so on, intended to make you look presentable when applying for a low income 9 to 5 position to grind away the days. I don't really know what all that means. I picked up in a movie once. Fun fact, if you stuff a bunch of them down the toilet and flush, the water will overflow and the repair guy will come to fix it. He will also complain about the economy and how he has to work on Sundays. Nah, I'm pretty as it is. Just some stuff I don't really care about. They're my moms. I'm not really sure what they're for. It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. A painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town, eh? You owe money to the art community. Listen here, man. I'll cut you a deal. I'll take on your debt and pay those money-grubbing watercolor pushers. Maybe I'll call you on your debt sometime. Maybe not. What do you say? Beats living on the run. A painting of something or another. It's too small to tell. Submerged ruins of an ancient temple. Classic TP found in most bathrooms. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already, am I right? Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money, Lebowski? I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. It's a trash can. Surprisingly, it's full of trash. Used by oh so many French maids. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Used to clean around the house. No, but nice try, Mom. Used for not washing your face, because water is gross in the morning. Hairs of towels just hanging out. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Every time I look at it, I see a beautiful princess. She's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Do what with it? I can't use that. Are you even trying? We should start with Flint's room, doll. What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. Wait, 
It's locked. But why? Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. Be careful, you two. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel... She is the key to all of this, the last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. A level 6 sword. Hmm, it has higher damage than my gun. I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at a shop. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. I should tear them in case... I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. Storage space reserved for various miscellanea. An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. A la map? No, that's not right. It's a lamp. L-A-M-P. Depicting colors contained by various forms and shapes. A wise man once said, The windows are the eyes of a house. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? 
a book titled Finding Missing Relatives for Dummies. That's oddly specific. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. Oh, boy. I have no idea where the drawing guy went with this one. A bag of candy. I knew a girl named Candy once. Whatever happened to her? It's a, um, a small paper box. It reminds me of a cocktail recipe. Add two, three ice cubes. Pour some liquor over them. Mix it in your stomach. Repeat. I call it the Ted trademarked. A book titled A Small Car on Top of Me. The Life of a Book. I, um, what? What sort of literature is this? What is this? A car for ants? A book titled A Small Car. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Someone. Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.